Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, luminous light warriors of our rainbow tribe of the new earth. Happy full wolf moon in the water sign of Cancer the Crab and the holy day of the Epiphany. This full wolf moon is bringing in the motherly energies of the divine feminine goddess queens and priestesses of Lemuria to flood this realm with the holy waters of healing, transformation, and transmutation. Through this great epiphany, the magi, grail, dragon, kings, and queens return with the gnosis of the perception of our true essential nature of cosmic Christosophia consciousness. After yesterday's most powerful X-Class solar flare, our local Solaris continues to release multiple C-Class flares, and at 052 UTC, the Sun released another powerful M1.63 solar flare, synchronizing with the date today of January 6, 23. These heavenly rays are bringing in more of our etheric 5D and beyond energetics, to assist Gaia and all her children of the sun for full compression breakthrough and the great shift of the ages. The house of cards and castles made of sand are crumbling to the earth to make sacred space for the new to rise out of like a phoenix rising from the ashes of the old energy into the birthing of the new heaven upon the new earth. With the pure awareness of Buddha mind, we resolve all things perfectly and bring to fruition our true heart's delight and consciously co-create together our new Eden of eternal bliss consciousness. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul, White Gold Eagle, with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful invocation. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now from Divine Sistar of Delight Valerie A. Elster, this is the time of the luminaries. We're being asked to step into our highest divine selves, Elohim. Choice points coming in hot. New agreements being created in the field today. Clarity. Diamond ley lines. From ValerieElster.com And from Divine Bro Thor of the Light, Roberto Nunez. Now we have entered a powerful portal that removes blocks, provides clarity and focus to make our dreams come true. Stay home, spend time with your loved ones, and take a break. Beautiful. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. Full moon in Cancer, a big shift is taking place. A major theme where the energy has been stuck and experiencing back and forth all through 2022 is now choosing a clear path in your mind and heart under the light of the full moon. An inner decision has been made. Now this has solidly and permanently shifted. You are unstoppable. You are on the other side of a choice point. You just did the biggest part. Your intuition is on point. You will rise past this challenge. From SophieGregoire.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Catron. The more awareness granted, the more personal accountability and responsibility is required. Self-mastery is a consistent dance with both light and dark held within and without. I've said countless times, if you listen very closely, people will tell you who they really are. Behind the veil of this illusionary dream, energy vampires are so incredibly calculated. Mastery is seeing the next move before it even plays out, sitting back watching the game of duality coming fully undone. Finally, in the physical as opposed to just seeing it etherically, checkmate, watch who's next love. The frequency in the field is a galactic energy, this I know, but it's a certain harmonic I have yet to work with. Thus far it's been Syrian, Lyran, Pleiadian, Andromedan, the colors that have been coming through since last week, nothing I have seen before. Next harmonic universe? 
from divine growth or of the light michael love super x-ray flare inbound pleiadian light forces transmissions a pleiadian light forces space weather broadcast to the star seeds of earth great one the sun is rocking tonight the Earth Alliance reports at this hour a massive X-class explosion ejected from the sun's corona, releasing a massive halo of exotic particles that are inbound for Earth. A critical space weather watch is in progress for the next 72 hours as this high vibrational gamma light sweeps over the planet, and more large flares are expected over the next three Earth days from the monster sunspot AR3182. The Pleiadians say it's not a matter of if, but when things line up just right, a super 5D solar flash is gonna blast the Earth. The future and destiny of planet Earth are known, and when this grand flash of cosmic light comes, all dormant DNA in this cosmos will be instantly activated, and consciousness will then be able to access higher dimensional realities right here on Earth. Many empathic beings of Earth, when heightened energetic sensitivity, felt this huge X-ray blast as soon as it left the sun, and global ascension symptom reports are already on the rise at this hour. To ease the effects this powerful light has on the layered body system, remember to eat light, energy foods, and drink lots of pure water. Slow down and just take it easy. Be in nature to ground, meditate for an hour. Keep those crystals nearby to channel the energy through your body and into the earth. Light forces are keeping a close eye on everything in the solar system tonight as energetic activity levels continue to increase. Hang in there and ride the wave as it comes in. Let us know what ascension symptoms you may be experiencing at this time. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians from 5dearthproject.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Celia Fenn. Full moon in Cancer, an X-class solar flare. The first full moon of the year is accompanied by the first X-class solar flare of the year. That means that the energies are truly sizzling right now. I have felt really spaced and a bit weird and wired today as the solar codes and lunar codes swirl all around us. Full Moon in Cancer is a powerful feminine energy with focus on home and relationships. And this means the Earth is our home and our relationships with the one human family. We are feeling into our role as the new Earth human family of light. The Sun is in Capricorn, where Pluto is still influencing change. But very soon Pluto will move into Aquarius and begin opening out new energies for the new Aquarian communities of light that will begin to emerge this year. And Jupiter in Aries is pushing us to expand our sense of who we are and what we can do and create. This is indeed the year for mastery and magic and new creations. From CeliaFen.com And from Divine Broth or of the Light, Rick Jewers. Update, the recent influx of light provided by the X-Class Solar Flare was directed toward the heart space more so to activate the heart chakra and new ones on their ascension path. The deep heaviness felt by some in the heart chakra with their Merkaba already activated was an indicator of what was transpiring with those whose heart chakras were beginning to open. The heavy feeling is the sensation that comes prior to these current heart chakra activations and is to incentivize ones into choice and action and higher divine alignment. Some must go deeper into the pain, a descension, prior to the ascension phase, without the pain catalyst. There is no incentive to move forward for some, so it is divinely assured and administered. On the other side of the most recent flu-like ascension symptoms comes more of an introduction state of neutrality from which you are more efficient to create from. This sensation will have you feeling and experiencing two very different distinct reality states. While it looks like the old reality, the feeling inside is a heightened state of at least neutral observation, and it is from this state of being that you are more effective in your manifestation, creator ability. 
These ones that have recently experienced this heightened state after the flu-like ascension symptoms will also begin to come into greater states of unity, which involves bonding and communication to strengthen the ground crew networks. This also increases the possibility of a more significant flash that can alter reality in a more instantaneous way, resulting in a complete planetary paradigm shift where transitory steps are not required. Love and Light Rick Jewers And from Divine Brother of the Light Pars Kute We have now entered a higher path on Earth where the vibrational patterns are able to descend from the universe down onto our planet's surface. These vibrational patterns of higher consciousness are interacting through our magnetic core creating waves of pulsing light designed to move outwards across the earth plane, interacting with our heart cells and nervous system. We have entered a new phase of our destined path on the new earth. The entire universal community have created and are holding an energetic aura, like a womb around earth during this next transitional phase. As we entered 2023, a more expansive energetic system was linked from our galactic family's resident universe to our earth plane, setting in motion a series of profound energetic shifts throughout the planet. A new blueprint of earth has been made manifest holding the sacred text of light that will be significant as this next phase unfolds. The earth has aligned to an energetic hierarchy within the universal consciousness framework and has birthed a sacred link of consciousness from Earth to the entire universal community. These links are setting in motion an enormous potential for those of us who are willing to actively engage to the greater community which we have always been a part. This is a returning for us, a time for us to individually take our place within the sacred communions that have always existed through all time. This is the moment for us to consciously choose to set in motion, to re-engage through the avenue of our heart space, to fully link into this higher line of communion. As we entered 2023, our DNA strands were repositioned in readiness for us to initiate these reconnections, to launch ourselves within our expanded consciousness. Our DNA plays a pivotal role in our ability to return to remembering. There is no such thing as time, and in one moment we can simply realign to our full sacred aspect of consciousness. There is no thing we have to change about our human aspect in order to activate the reconnection to our sacred component. This is destiny and motion at this juncture. This process is what we have pre-agreed to achieve now. Within divine love of one, pars kute and from ascension light workers to the ascending collective soul there is a wolf full moon in cancer on the 6th of january 2023 the full moon collective energies are intensifying and heightening mercury is in retrograde motion so you can be feeling a little up and down energetically speaking you are being guided to continue to release what is not needed by bringing yourself back to the present moment always and realizing there truly is nothing to fear. There is only love, so love yourself that little bit more right now. Take it easy and stay true, as extra blessings in the form of wondrous new beginnings are coming in for you. Collectively, we are adjusting to a massive shift from last year. Many have been purging old wounded timelines, strong body symptoms, and upper chakra activations. Thoughts can run wild at this time, Movement will help the body calibrate to the upgrade. Avoid emotional outbursts. They can be replaced with self-control and self-reflection. It's a time to focus on your goals and desires and to take the necessary actions towards changes and growth. We can utilize the full moon energy for self-reflection, healing, clarity, courage, and manifestation. The more we heal, the smaller our inner circle becomes. Not because we don't want the connection, but because we have a transformed relationship with ourself. Ascending souls can now be craving time alone and have a heightened awareness of who will contribute to further healing and who will interrupt your inner peace. You are not meant to fix anything or any relationship in your life that currently feels out of alignment. 
At higher levels, everything is unfolding and healing exactly the way it is designed and meant to. We are encouraged to refocus our attention on what brings us comfort and joy. When you experience the high vibrations of these satisfying and peaceful life experiences, you align with your higher self, living from a higher perspective and from a prosperous state of being. Higher ascension has been awakening your heart space to a deeper degree. This is leading you into a more connected state of being. A new path is slowly being shown to you. The main themes of evolution of 2022 could be revisited, yet approached differently. Not everything will always feel clear or decided just yet, but know the truth is coming in gradually, to be revealed. Allow it and sit with it in the safe space of your own heart. You are exactly where you are meant to be, as a more hopeful future is being shaped and shown. This first full moon of 2023 in the sensitive feminine and emotional sign of cancer, it is a powerful and potent full moon to begin the new year with. Emotions may be running high as cancer is ruled by the moon, and the moon being its home in the zodiac sign is bringing extra power to these healing energies. Deep transformational and emotional release is happening within us during the highly transformative energies of this full moon in cancer. Intensified by Mercury and Mars retrogrades, as this combination already creates intense, volatile, and emotional energy of soul growth and transformation. These energies are bringing healing and cellular release of past traumas, karmic and generational cycles, patterns, fears, and insecurities to close off the old energetic cycles. This is to anchor in more light for the higher heart, and this is occurring during this full moon. It is raising the divine feminine consciousness as an embodiment of unconditional love and oneness, and mastering the balance of feminine and masculine within, as well as third eye and crown chakra activations and upgrades. Profound confirmations, revelations, downloads, and closures are asking us to pay attention to what is here and to be revealed right now. These energies are assisting us with the cleansing energy of renewal, change, and new beginnings as we are stepping into the new earth timelines. In loving and devoted lightworker service by Ascension Lightworkers. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D., Full Moon Energies and the Start of the 2023 Timelines. Dear friends, welcome to the first full moon of the year. The energies are coming down heavily as we end this week. Today marks the climax of this full moon in Cancer, but its light codes will be affecting us throughout the weekend. On top of this, in the last 12 hours we had a big X-class solar flare erupting in our sun. Those of you who are energy sensitive probably had a strange night and day with nervous system, head and heat, cold issues. It seems that both our sun and moon, the masculine and feminine energies, are giving us a big send-off and getting us ready for this new year. The first full moon is particularly important. We are leaving behind the 2022 vibrations and fully entering into the new 2023 timelines. Tonight we are stepping into the energies of the number seven, associated with wisdom, investigation, research, analysis, logic, reflection, introspection, and spirituality. The seven energy will be with us until the end of the year. In general, full moons are by nature a time when we are usually immersed in intense emotions, and when the moon is full in the sign it rules, nurturing, compassionate, and sensitive cancer, we have the opportunity to get even more intimately in tune with our inner world and emotional issues. It is possible that today and during the weekend our physical bodies will feel a bit lethargic and just wanting to relax our overloaded nervous system. This is a normal symptom when adjusting to this new shift in frequencies, especially under such an emotional full moon. These full moon energies are asking us to just flow, breathe, and simply be with ourselves and our own feelings. There will be plenty of time to get active and engage with your new timelines as the month unfolds. But these few days, try to keep yourself focused on your inner balance and connected with your inner light. 
This particular first full moon of the year is a great time to finally release any emotional blockages surrounding personal and family issues that we are still carrying from 2022. The need for forgiveness, releasing codependency, and the shifting in relationship dynamics may all be coming up to surface during this full moon. Please use this window of opportunity to further release any unhealed past or present issues. It is by going through these emotional wounds that we can integrate them and finally close them. The wound is the place where the light enters you, as the Sufi teacher Rumi once said. The new 2023 timelines starting next week will feel like a breath of fresh air to many of you. It will be a time to step out of the cocoon, spread your wings, and fly away into your new 2023 adventures. Meanwhile, use this weekend to finally close old chapters and gain the emotional confidence needed for the rest of the year. The energy of this Cancer full moon is giving us a time window in which we can take a step back and ensure that our heads are in sync with our hearts and from that point of inner balance step forward into the world and shine our divine light brightly. Have a wonderful weekend and a smooth full moon. Happy Three Kings Day to those who celebrate it. May we be showered by the gifts of spirit throughout this new year. Much love, we are one, from DiegoBerman.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code. You've made positive moves, done the inner work, and now we'll see the results. This success is helping bringing happiness through healthy relationship connections for future generations to come. It has also earned you a strong leadership position where you will be the light needed to mentor others, showing them structure, boundaries, and inner authority. You've shown yourself how to count on yourself and would lead others to do the same. Expansion in this new role will come closer to the spring equinox. For now, receive the spiritual cleansing that is removing any remaining karmic debris, energies, people, and beliefs so you can step into your future with your full power and determination, confident and in charge of your new life. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godcode.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Tanya Gabriel. Welcome the first full moon of 2023, the fourth consecutive full moon at 16 degrees, in the highly intuitive and sensitive sign of Cancer with the Sun in Capricorn. Cancer is a private internal sign of emotional security. It describes your internal frame of reference. The moon is sextile Uranus shifting your frame of reference into a new positive landscape devoid of fear. This full moon beckons reflection. Both Mars and Mercury are retrograde and celebration with beautiful aspects between Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. From TanyaGabrielle.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Christy Ashley. Full moon in Cancer. Embrace the tears that may fall during this emotional and sensitive full moon soul family. As we move into this exciting new year, there is ample opportunity to re-examine the choices of the past and reconsider what we would like to do differently or even change entirely as we move forward. There is compassion felt in these energies as this moon asks us to go deeply within to seek answers to the bigger questions and to tap into our heart's message. This is invoking bigger picture thinking and beckons us to plunge deeply into the quiet sanctuary and still waters of our soul and to really feel into the medicine that is being offered within this cycle. For those of you beautiful souls holding questions without answers, know that this is also part of the divine plan as we relinquish control and let the water carry us. We are being reminded during this time to follow our own inner knowing and to embrace the softness within. All will be known and understood fully once the threshold of the soul lesson has been crossed and you can expect major epiphanies and moments of sudden clarity to fall into your consciousness once this point has been reached. Anything that has been left unresolved within ourselves as well as our relationships with others must be dealt with. 
This can bring up uncomfortable feelings, but we are asked to surrender to the higher heart and really pay attention to what is being brought to the surface here. What floats will stay and what is no longer in alignment will drift away. This is all for our highest good as it allows us the space to unburden ourselves and release the weight of the past. When we are brave enough to step out of our ego and fall into the heart of our vulnerabilities, that is where the real soul work, healing and change occur, not just within our own inner world but for the collective as well. Family bonds are strengthened within these energies and bring stability, support and nurturing care. Allow yourself to be held with each passing wave as these watery emotions give way for the clearing of old and stagnant energy. Not everything has to happen at once. Slow down and go with the flow. Christy Ashley And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse Full Moon in Cancer Saturn and Aquarius Semi-Sextile Neptune and Pisces the peak of the lunar cycle heightens emotional sensitivity around matters of the home, family, safety, and belonging. Maybe the past comes knocking at the door, an invitation to reassess and reframe, a suggestion to forgive but not to forget. There may also be painful realizations that highlight dependency issues. It's easier now to see where old habitual patterns have generated feelings of inadequacy or hobbled ambition. Now is the time to release, to learn from the past, to understand that it's possible to heal and create the security craved. Check your work-life balance, ask for what you need, don't pour cold water on your inner child's imagination, dare to dream. Saturn's neighborly connection to Neptune is the final installment of a conversation that began back in May 2022. Maybe now there is a glimpse of a miracle, a sense that something somewhere is listening, a feeling that if we can dream it, we can do it. Not every vision turns out the same as what we had in mind, but still, sometimes the universe offers a better interpretation. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 233, Red Crystal Skywalker. Crystal is the name for the number 12 and its keywords are cooperation, dedication, and universalize. This is the 12th day of the white wind wave spell and the number 12 symbolizes cooperation. Therefore, today is ideal for cooperating with others. Try to find a communal activity to get involved with. It's important to remember that we are not all alone. We are designed to function as part of a team. Whether you enjoy playing sports or partying, getting out of the house now and again is good for you. Today is Red Skywalker and it represents wakefulness, space, and exploring. Red Skywalker is a bit of a daredevil and likes to tempt us into doing things we normally wouldn't do. Speaking for myself, the best things that ever happened to me happened because I threw caution to the wind. It can encourage impulsive behavior and it can bring out your courage too. As it is a crystal skywalker day, this suggests that if you're going to do something crazy, do it with a group of people. Explore the possibilities of what can be achieved when people cooperate together. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Crystal Skywalker, 12 Bane, Keen 233. 6th of January 2022, Exploration and Cooperative Alliances, 6-1-2023 equals 6 one seven equals 7-7 seven seven equals 14 equals 5, 7-7 seven seven Double Magicians Code, Day Codes, 6 Heaven, Christ, Harmony, Romance, Fertility, 14 Media, Publicity, Promotion, Recognition, 5 Freedom, Change, Liberation, Movement, Change, Month Year Codes, 1 New Beginnings, Original, Unique, Leader, Independent, 7 Spiritual Test, Initiation, Solitude, Magic, Mystic, Magician, 8 Infinite, Abundant, Source, Flow, 20 The Awakening, Clear Vision, 23 Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Support, Keen 233 equal 8 Infinity, Abundance, Flow, Huge expansive awakening codes today. 
Today is day twelve and the wave spell of Eek, the great white wind who holds the power of spirit and communication, where we are becoming hollow vessels for spirit to communicate and operate through our being. Today we are exploring the expanded space created in our hollow, pure minds, which begets crystalline communication through our unified grid and expanded God consciousness. Tone of creation, crystal tone 12 in the mental realm, action universalizes, power dedicates, essence cooperation. The crystal tone emphasizes cooperation and clarity, thus facilitating a union of opposites and a merging of polarity into unity. The communication channels are wide open as the messages from spirit flow through with greater ease, elevating our minds to that of the collective higher mind. Yesterday, the yellow spectral human dissolved and released impediments in order to liberate the higher divine mind. Today, this process is expanded. On a red skywalker day, the crystal tone creates the Buddha mind, an uninterrupted and powerful conduit for the universal or God mind. Today, we are finding the pure flow of unified planetary consciousness. The crystal tone is the foundation of connectedness upon which to create our new tribes, teams, organizations, and systems. This brings a newfound sense of stability and confidence in what is being constructed. Through cooperation, new frameworks can be expanded with confidence and security. May the force be with you. Collectively meditating and visualizing this planetary dreaming today will powerfully quicken its manifestation into our present reality. It takes teamwork to make the dream work. May your Ida and Pingala reunite and complete their ecstatic dance, allowing the winds of heaven to flow through your rejuvenated human vessel, anchoring your own piece of bliss on earth. Today's question is how can I expand into states of higher consciousness, cooperating with other minds in the unified field of God consciousness? Today is a great day to use your mind to connect to the force that connects all hearts and minds to God consciousness. Divine blessings for crystal clear expanded journeys today. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 233, Red Crystal Skywalker. The mantra, the code for today is, I dedicate in order to explore. Universalizing wakefulness, I seal the output of space. With the crystal tone of cooperation, I am guided by the power of life force. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. If you'd like to support our work, our mission, and this channel, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Anna, Anita Hart, for your donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you. So thank you all very much. We appreciate all of you. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now, we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful invocation from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurelia. Invocation to the Cosmic Ascension Light. Beloved, glorious, I am presence, light of my soul, 
May the light of cosmic ascension and divine love be poured within my soul and into the earth like the light of a thousand suns to permeate the earth and to saturate her people and her many kingdoms. May all negativity, illusion, and karma be transmuted by this cosmic ascension light of God that never fails. May the great golden age of enlightenment, love, peace, brotherhood, and prosperity for all be established now upon our dear planet by the action of this great ascension light. By the authority of my beloved I Am Presence, the light of the Father, Mother, God, and by the authority of the entire spirit of the great white brotherhood, I affirm, as a son of God, I now declare that I am an authority on earth. I am calling for the action of the light of a thousand suns to be released now on this beloved planet for the immediate transformation of earth into the shining star that is her destiny and for the raising up of humanity into their eternal freedom in the realms of light and divine perfection. I request that the light that is needed to manifest the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven be released now without limit until all is ascended in the light and free. And so it is, beloved I am. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and powerful full wolf moon in Cancer and sacred, restful, and illuminating weekend ahead. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.